Leading your organization towards real agility will change the way that you use your time. Most leaders find themselves with a time allocation that just doesn't feel quite right. Let's describe what that looks like. Most leaders start with a large block of their time dedicated to workforce management. This is basically telling people what to do. You might have 60% uh, of your time allocated to that. There's another part that a lot of re leaders really dislike. Maybe it's smaller, but it's still a significant portion, which is firefighting. Unfortunately, there's a lot of crisis in most organizations. The part that's really good that leadership should really be focusing on is the improvement stuff. So you might spend a small amount of time on process improvement and a small amount of time on staff improvement. Relatively speaking, maybe 5% for each of those. This just isn't enough. Of course, if you're spending all your time on workforce management and firefighting, it's hard to get to real agility. The great thing is organically things change and you get to a better state. So the ideal state and what most organizations find for their leaders when they get to real agility is that you spend a large proportion of your time on staff development, a similarly large proportion of your time on process improvement, and fortunately, a much smaller amount of your time on workforce management and firefighting. Even in the best organizations, those things still do happen. So in a way, this is actually a benefit of real agility, that it helps you as a leader go from a very typical time allocation to a much better ideal time allocation where you're spending 40% of your time on process improvement, maybe even 50% of your time on staff improvement, and just a small proportion of 5% each on workforce management and firefighting. Thanks for watching Leading to Real Agility. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and let me know in the comments if you have any questions.